All right, sorry about the um, somewhat poor quality of the video of this. It's taken from my phone camera. Uh, but I wanted to just basically demonstrate the easiest way that I found to install the wingtip bows on the Steen Skybolt. Um, I don't know if anybody's ever shown a video of how this is done before, but I'm going to show you after installing three what I found the best way to do uh, the installation is. I'm going to start with um, preform bow. Again, sorry about the quality of the video. And what we want to do is end up with an installation. This one here is fitted, ready to be glued in. Show you what a somewhat finished one looks like. Okay, this is the upper uh, wing that we're looking at here. This is uh, the left wing tip bow installed on this wing. This one um, on the upper wing was kind of a learning curve on how to do this. And uh, the lower wing is going to be very similar though. So ultimately, once it's glued up and the blocks are installed. That's what it's going to look like. Let's go back to the lower wing real quick. Show you what I've discovered is the easiest way to do it. And if you look at the plans, the wingtip bow radius is 21 inches. Um, and if you start here, and work your way around spars your 21 inches is measured off of this rib here which is uh, this is an aileron rib as you can see this one is the tip rib the aileron well over here but your 21 inches and radius is measured from a point on this last aileron uh, shorty rib here. You can see I've already marked the point here. How did I come up with that point? Well, it's 21 inches from the outside edge of this rib tip to back here. Easiest way to do that is with a uh, trammel bar that I made up. I think these were. Uh, general tools, trammel points. Picked them up off of Amazon because unfortunately local stores didn't have it. Now if you set your trammel bar at 21 inches, I have this one set at 20 and a quarter, I'll show you why in just a minute. Um, put one tip right there and then wherever that trammel tip falls at 21 inches back there, mark that with a pencil. And again, I have this currently set at 20 and 3 quarters, and the reason that I do that is because this bow is about 3 quarters inch in thickness. If you take a look at it, it might be hard to see with the reflected light here. 3 quarters of an inch. So if you um, want to know where to cut these spars off at, you see I marked this one here. This one I've already cut before I decided I better shoot a video of this before I go too much further. And all you have to do is take your trammel point, put it over here on your 21 inch radius mark, and because I am marking to the inside of the curve of the bow, you can see where my trammel tip here falls at 20 and one quarter inch. And all you have to do is drag the tip of the trammel point across the wood and it'll make a score. And then I highlight it with black marker. Don't tilt your trammel bar while you're scoring it. You may upset your measurement a little bit. Try to hold it vertically, straight up and down 
while you do that. You can see here on this one, I've already sawed off the excess spar and I'm getting ready to saw off this excess bar here. So let me go ahead and do that and we'll get back to video. Now if you notice on the inside of the tip bows, pencil mark here and pencil mark here. Theoretically with a 21 inch constant radius of the bow this mark will line up with this rib in the back at the trailing edge and will line up with the center of the tip of that rib there and that's theoretically now when you take your bows off its form you may get a little spring back in it um, that's all right that little bit won't hurt anything while you're lining it up you may just have to put a little pressure on it so that the bow dries in place properly as you can see from this one that's already fitted and ready to go it has a little spring back to it not bad it doesn't take much pressure to line it up where it should on the trailing edge of that tip rib there you can use a couple clamps to help hold it in position so now that the wing spars are cut to length at the tips we will go ahead and saw the bow there get rid of this rough end and get ready to start fitting it one of the things I did uh, to help support the bow as I'm working with it is that I just took a piece of stock, lightly clamped it to the compression strut there, um, made a couple pencil marks so I know if it shifts at all. A little spring clamp here to help support it on that rib. And I took my trammel points and from my main point here, marked. 21 inches out. This is the outside edge of the wingtip bow. It will help me get a visual on it as I'm aligning it as we go along. Let's take a look now. We cut the one end up off of this bow here at a 90 to the back side. And so it will fit in the notch in that wing rib and butt up against the nose of that rib there. So the one thing that we are going to have to do is bevel the notch in this wingtip rib so that the bow can lay through there because it curves through. That flat notch is not going to help us out so we'll go ahead and bevel that. Okay, now with a couple clamps holding the bow in position in the notch, I can stretch the bow around and see roughly how it's going to line up on the trailing edge of this tip rib. Mark it with a pencil so I know where I can cut it. Now, I'm holding this with one hand and holding the camera with the other so I can't show you how you can take the trammel with your free hand and check the radius by putting the one point on the rib and then just run it around the outside edge of the tip bow. That'll tell you how you're doing so far. Uh, right now I'm within an eighth of an inch of being exactly 21 inches of radius. So let's uh, do some cutting here on this bow get the excess off and we'll see where we sit okay I went ahead and cut the bow at uh, roughly the angle I cut it just a little bit proud I'll touch it up on the uh, belt sander just to square it off and then this extra piece of wingtip bow don't discard it 
Obviously, you want to keep it because it makes up the uh, curve of the end of the aileron. And it'll go between the aileron tip rib and that first uh, rib inboard. We'll take a look at that later. All right, we're going to do a quick test fit before I even clean up that end that I cut off. You can see I got a clamp keeping it from springing off the nose of that rib. One clamp holding it into the groove on my tip rib up front. Stretched around the spars. And where I sit in the back, just a little bit proud. I'm going to have to bevel the ends of these uh, cap strips here so that it fits a little better similar to what I did here on this wing you can see the bevel so that as the tip comes around fits better okay we're knocking it out pretty quick it's not as hard as you might think